Hello, everybody. Welcome back to a podcast that's kicking it with KG. We have Abram. He's a special guest, kind of. Yeah, and, uh, I like to think so. He's been gone for the last two months. You've not seen him in any videos at all. Just to, uh, I don't know, tell him why. I guess I'll let you do that. Where have you been and why? Uh, well, I was studying abroad in Jordan, which is... Uh, it's a country in the Middle East. Yeah. And I was I'm there or I was there because I was uh studying Arabic. Which is that's that's my college major. I study Arabic, so Mhm. What is Arabic? <clears throat> it's a language. It's uh I think it's the fifth most spoken language in the world. It's the official language of over there. Yeah, yeah. All the all, all the, these all these countries right here, basically. Yeah. All the brown ones, all the ones that's color of dirt. <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. So you came back. Do what? You I don't know. How do we get into this? There's a lot to talk about. You don't plan these very well, do you? Nope, not really. We don't gotta plan them for greatness. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, Jordan. Just give you all a little background, just in case you don't know where Jordan is, because I definitely didn't either. Anyways, here is the global map or whatever. You see right down here is pretty much the Middle East. It is right there. So to find Jordan, no, we're no. going to zoom in. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're going to zoom in some more. And then we'll zoom in a little bit more. It is right here. I don't know where it is. It's, I actually it's lost this one. This it's one. this one right here. Yeah. So it's right on the edge of what's it what's it uh Israel and Iraq. Yeah. And okay. Saudi Arabia is down here. And R- Syria. Yeah, Syria's over here. And does it border Egypt, technically? No, no. Okay. Uh, it's close, though. Like Yeah. So it's right over here, pretty much in the desert. And is that pretty much what you took away from it? Is this just a big old desert place? It is mostly desert, but there is some, like, uh, not desert stuff, like, up here. Yeah. In this corner. Okay. Like, that's all, like, forest mountains up here. Up there, we're in the little green spot? Yeah, this little green greenish What area. kind of forest is it? Do you know? Uh, they have, like, it's mostly, like... Um, what state would you compare it to? Mm. It's kind of like California, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like uh the middle of California. Not not like well, like the mountains. Like I was in Yosemite mm-hmm. uh a while back, like maybe half a year ago. It's kind of like that, I guess. Not the mountains aren't quite that big, but Yeah. I don't know. So, it's hard to compare it cuz Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot different. Mm. What was the biggest th- what was the biggest thing? That you noticed down there, that was so different. I, I, I think I think the biggest difference. I'd say everything wasn't it. Th- there was yeah, yeah. It was okay. It was. It's definitely like <laughs> uh, one of the most uh, unusual places I've ever been. As I mean, you know, just because it's, it's it's so foreign to us, but it's like as different as it can get. <clears throat> yeah. In every way, including yeah, yeah. everything. Mm. Do they drive on the left side of the road? No, they actually drive on the right. What kind yeah. of cars they got there? Uh, they're all like electric and hybrid cars. They're all like little. Really? Yeah. Little yeah. Sometimes you have like trucks, but uh, that's mostly like out in the country. Like in the city, everybody drives little tiny cars. Any American made cars? Uh, yeah, they like uh, <laughs> they like uh, Ford and Chevy, uh, and like sometimes you'll see like a Dodge Ram. So what they have like Volts or something? Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. But the, but they really like um. They really like uh like Korean cars because they're cheaper. Yeah. Do we have Korean cars here? <clears throat> Sadly. Yeah, yeah. What are they? What brand like is Hyundai. that? Hyundai. Oh, okay. Um, what else? Hyundai. Kia. Hyundai's the big one. They drive. Uh, Kia, Kia is Kia Korean or are they Japanese? I don't know. Somewhere over there, not American though. <laughs> yeah. What all did you have to do to prep for this? Um, pack. Is that it? What kind of clothes you take? Because I kept thinking you was taking a turban. Apparently, no, no, you didn't no. wear no turbans and robes and stuff. Uh, you know, I packed some like. Uh, you you gotta dress pretty conservative because they they're, it's not they won't do anything to you. They just think it's weird if you don't like if you wear like, shorts and t-shirts and stuff. They they'll be like oh, whatever. Like but, what I'm wearing right now. I mean, I mean the thing. The, here's the thing. Like yeah. they tell you. That you need to wear like pants and long sleeve shirts or whatever, mm-hmm. but you go over there and everybody's just wearing like uh, polos and sometimes they wear shorts. It's it's not like really that conservative. Why'd they want you to wear long sleeves? I I have no idea. Isn't it smoking hot? Yeah, it's really stinking hot. 
What kind of temperatures are we talking? Like, uh, average. Well, I mean, it was the summertime, so like average yeah. is going to be like low nineties. But you go down here mm-hmm. to this place. There's a town here called Ak- uh, Akaba. Um, it it was like, I think it got over a hundred when we were there. It was really stinging hot, but it's not. It's not. Um, you get like the sea breeze because it's on the mm. Red Sea there. Yeah, so. it's dry too, right? Yeah, it's extremely dry. Yeah, that, I think that was the. That was probably the biggest um, shock to me was that there was like no water there. Oh, water at all either. Not just in the air, but even on the ground. No, yeah. Like, um, <clears throat> yeah, there's no, there's, it's really not very humid at all there. Like, at, well, it's not humid at all. There's no humidity, which means the heat, the heat is like, it's bad, but I would actually say the heat here is worse because, uh, Cause it's so humid here yeah but there like it's hotter but it's not as bad because there's no there's no humidity let me ask you this abram like when you see this like can you drive from one part of jordan to the other or is it a lot bigger than what it yeah, looks yeah. i mean uh we drove so this is where we were about right here this is amon like zoom in there all right where we at right here yeah yeah uh yeah amon that's amon. the big city that's like it's like five million people in this city um, that's, we were staying like probably right, right there, like North Amman. Hmm. And we drove all the way down, uh, on one trip to scroll. Like, can you uh, zoom in there? Okay. This town right here, Aqaba, we drove all the way there. That's on like, it's the corner of the country. And, uh, it was like a five hour drive. So it was so like, it was not that bad. Top to bottom, five hours. So that's yeah. like the size of Kentucky, pretty much stood up. Uh, Is it like if you drove about from it? Yeah, like Pikeville to Paducah. It's a little bigger than Kentucky, but it's it's ten million people le- live there. I think that's insane. So, but there's like I think there's like four million people in Kentucky. Mm-hmm. Are the roads any good? Um, they're they're okay. I mean, they're not like. <laughs> I mean, they're they're about like the roads here, I guess. Okay. Potholes here, there, and yonder. Yeah. What about the drivers? They're insane. They're right? insane. They're nuts. You yeah. got any good stories? And did you drive? Did you get to drive? I any? did not drive, and I never want to drive in Jordan ever. It's scary. How did you get around? Uh, other people drove us around, and also they have taxis and stuff. You know. Did, did you ever take taxis? Yeah, yeah, all the time. Did oh. you see any wrecks? No, I didn't. I don't think I saw a single car wreck when I was there, which is crazy because they drive insane. <laughs> but, but the thing is, they they're insane drivers, but they're also really good drivers. Like, hmm. like I was, I guess I was saying this before the podcast, but they drive, they'll drive like inches away from your car and like neither driver will care. They'll just be like, ah. So like here you get that close. Someone's going to be mad. Yes. They're like, they, the thing, like they don't get mad over like anything. They, they're very relaxed. So they're not like Americans they are more no, chill than we are. They're very chill, but they're all like, yeah, that was one of the weirdest things that, um, I saw when I got there, because like on the you go in the city and everybody's honking their horns all the time, and nobody gets mad. Like it's just like, for them, if you honk your horn, it's like you look over and you're like, oh, somebody's honking their horn. I better move. It's <laughs> like it's not like, this dude is. Uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I don't know. It it was uh it driving was, it 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 really uh. It's scary. <laughs> on the open roads, I guess, away from city or whatever, did they drive like as fast as they could? Mm-mm. No, they don't drive very fast, like even on the highways. But part of that, part of the reason for that, I think, is because they have like police checks mm. every <laughs> every maybe twenty minutes or so. Yeah, they're, it's really weird. They do like police checks uh, on the road, but the because they don't have co- uh, cops like patrolling and stuff. Yeah, they have like random checks. Well, what about uh? Well, I guess they do that to make sure there's no ISIS in there. I don't know. Why do they do know. that? Is it that, or to just catch if you're speeding? Uh, and what's I don't it? Know. What's they'll it? like they'll like stop r- that random people. Yeah, uh, and they'll just like kind of search their car and just let them go, pretty much. Did you ever get searched? Uh, no. Uh, they they stopped us a few times, but we never got searched. They just let us go. What do they look for when they like search people? I don't know. Probably AKs. I never got searched. Bombs. The, well, the thing is, like, yeah, obviously, they, but like, they, they're not. I don't think they're really searching for like terrorists and stuff. Because the thing about Jordan is, there's 
There's not really any terrorists in Jordan. It's the it's the only country like around here that doesn't have that. Maybe Saudi Arabia doesn't either, but Saudi Arabia's got other problems. <laughs> but um all these other countries, Lebanon, Syria, Iraq, um Pakistan. <laughs> yeah. Where's the, uh, the over here like Gaza Strip at or whatever? It's right here. So they're all like fighting over that. Yeah. Yeah. And, yep, and there it is. The main the main part is uh get in the Gaza Strip there's like a lot of people that live there, but the main part they're fighting over is this part, the West Bank. Hmm. And there's actually it's like all the Palestinians that live here, they all they all had to uh move over here to Jordan. And so right now there's um there's actually more Palestinians than Jordanians in Jordan. And the people don't care? No, they don't care because they they uh they're basically the same. The only difference really between Palestinians and Jordanians is that um Jordanians have more money. Is there a difference between the people of Israel and whoever the other people are? Yeah, yeah. I mean Israelis are they're Jews mostly. Oh. Uh, well, almost okay. all of them. I'd love to go to Israel. What would you do if you went there? Just chill out. And do what? I don't know. Try you, not to get blown up in the yeah. Gaza Strip, I guess. Yeah, 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 I don't know. You probably, if you went to Israel, you'd want to stay away from this part and this part. Is it actually part. that bad? Uh, in Israel, yeah, it's yeah. really bad. What all's going on? They're like bombing they're, each other they, daily. Yeah, they they fighting all the time. Just for just for what? Land. Mostly for this place right here, Jerusalem. Just to do what on it? Because there's like religious sites there. That's the main reason. And also, there's there's other stuff. Because like. Uh, Originally, the Palestinians used to live here, and then uh, after World War II, um, the uh, the Allies came in here and said, "Well, the Jews need to have a place to live," and so they moved them all here. And the Palestinians weren't very happy about that. Yeah. So they started fighting. They'll be all right. And I probably probably don't want to get into all the political stuff. Cause yeah. Then, did you get? Did you uh, see any of Jordan's like I don't know military trying to stop anything from happening in there, mm. like big old border things or something? No, since it's crazy, I don't know. No, I mean I went to the border, uh, like over here, huh? But uh, nothing crazy. Like, there was just like one guard with a gun. That what kind like, of gun was he holding? I don't know. I don't know anything about guns. What it look like? I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up. It All right, look it up. What are they called? Jordanians? Yeah. Yeah, look it up, Ethan, and see if you can find Excuse anything. Me. What's your favorite part about it? Um, the whole thing. Your number one favorite part about my the favorite whole part trip was uh, seeing all the um, the the sights, but mostly. Um, what all did you see? We went to. Should we go through the pictures, or is that the best way to do it? Yeah, th- that would probably be best. All right. Well, Abram sent us about eighty thousand pictures, and we're <laughs> going to go through them, and he's just going to tell us what's up. Every picture could be different. This one appears to be some kind of food, okay? Mm. What are we looking at here? What's this so place this called? Is the, uh, this is the Yemeni restaurant that was uh, close to our house. Yemen. Um, what is Yemen? From, That's a whole different country, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. There's a bunch of Yemeni people that live in Jordan. Yeah. Uh, I don't really know why. I guess because they're having a civil war right now, and uh, Jordan's pretty stable. Yeah. So, so this restaurant is owned by a Yemeni person. Did you frequent this place? Yeah, we went here a lot. <laughs> this is their menu. What's it say? Also, if you guys didn't pick up what we're putting down, he speaks Arabic, which is like not English, you know? So yeah. all those little squiggly lines, he knows what they say. It, What's that say? Uh, Sadasi. What's that mean? That is, um, I don't know. It's like, it's got um, meat and like, some kind of sauce. It's is maybe like a cheese sauce. I don't know. My friend used to eat that all the time, but I never really figured out what was in it. Is it kind of like Mexican? Like queso? Like no. The chorizo? No. no. No, it's not really. I don't know what the sauce is. It, it might be a cheese sauce. Like it's kind of orangish. Like, what's it all? I don't know what it's know. made of. Does anything in America taste anything like the stuff they cook? Yeah, I mean, like this stuff here. Yeah. Like this row right here. Yeah. That's all just regular meat. Oh, and they just cook it not normal? Yeah, yeah. This is like a lamb shank. I got this the last time I went there, and it was so good. They eat a lot of lamb there. Yeah, that's everything they eat. every meat they eat is basically lamb and chicken. Uh, hmm. Sometimes they eat fish, but where do they grow their fish. sheep at? Because they eat much grass, is there? In some places there is, yeah. Oh, but they don't need a whole lot, and sometimes they just feed them like grain. I guess I assume I don't really know, but <laughs> didn't get to the farming part of it. Mm-mm. Let's see. Uh-oh. Oh. 
Yeah, keep going. Oh yeah, yeah. Go, oh yeah, go yeah. That. Go that oh, that looks good. Yes. What this, is that? This is this is restaurant is called Babel Yemen. It's owned by the same people as the first restaurant. Yeah. Um, this is one of the most famous restaurants in Amman. Is that? And uh, this is uh, the first meal we had there. It's uh, ah, I forget what this is called. This looks is maybe so like, much like Mexican food. It though. looks like Mexican. This may be like mandy or something. I don't. I is don't that rice? What it's yeah, it's rice. Um, and I think that's like just different colored rice, like the green and red stuff. Yeah. I think it's just different colored rice. I don't really know, but it tasted like rice. This <laughs> is a uh, lamb and potatoes. And I think that's a, I think that's a fig. I don't really know, but what is a fig? It's like a fruit. Is it like yeah, a fig Newton? Here. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh, okay. We have just said so. I think fig that's Newton. a fig. I don't really know, but this is, it's really good. How many people did that feed? Uh, four. We had a bunch left over too. That's a lot of food. No, wait. I think it's five people. Five. Here's is that expensive? Cool. Yeah, that's what I was about to ask. Um, I don't remember how much the first... You can get like a meal for four people at this restaurant for like uh, like 10 dinar, which is like 15 bucks mm-hmm. in America. Or, uh, But one time we went there and we got a meal for four people and it was like 40 dinar, which is like $60. It was crazy. Is but, it crazy though? Because everything's pretty cheap, isn't it? Food wise, like, do you remember any of the prices of any of those? Uh, this is what I usually got right here. Yeah. Uh, Bai Dayun, which is just two eggs, basically. Yeah. It's a little bit of spices, but I think it was like uh, maybe like a dinar fifty or a dinar maybe, which is like a dollar fifty. Wow. That's what I got most mornings, and I got um this bread right here. It's called ratab. Mm-hmm. And it's like a soft bread. Um. It was not even a dollar. Like, I don't remember how much it was, but it was cheap. Compared to here, like, I remember you saying off off podcast that the food is, like, cheaper. Mm-hmm. Is everything cheaper, though? No. Uh, I think the food the food is cheap. Gas is a little cheaper than here. Mm. <laughs> um, basically, everything else is more expensive. Like everything? What about a bottle of water? Um, well, yeah, water's cheap. A oh, bottle, bo- well, okay, so uh, you can get water, no, water's not really cheap. Uh, yeah, because there's not much of it, right? Yeah, like, Kinda. um, I, I, I don't know, it, it depends on where you go. Like, I, I went to, I went to the store every other day, sometimes I would get a bottle of water from there, and it was like, um, a, a quarter dinar, which is like, uh, it's like, 35 40 cents something hmm. like that for like a regular bottle of water that was cold so it's yeah, it's like that's not bad at it's all. not bad but then uh but like the tap water uh it's not that it's expensive it's just that you can't get it like uh yeah you can't get it at all does that include uh, I mean, like you can't a get shower it yeah yeah the showers are you, you have to take like really short showers you have to, like when i took a shower I would, like, put all the, I would rinse off a little bit first, then put all the soap and shampoo and everything on, and then rinse it off, like, uh, and have the water off most of the time unless I was like rinsing. How does that work? Do you get rationed? Water yeah, you get rationed week? water. Who who decides? We ran out a few times. Who decides who how much you get? Uh, the guy that owns the apartment. How do you pay for it? Uh, well, he pays for it. I don't know, <laughs> but uh, that we didn't find out until later that. If we ran out, we were technically allowed to ask for more. But I think he didn't really want us to know that because I think it costs like quite a bit extra to get a refill. That's crazy. But we ran out, I think, um, three or four times, f- and we didn't have water for like a couple days at a time, which for them is like, I think it's pretty normal for them. But for us, it's like, we don't have water. Like, we can't take showers and wash clothes and use the bathroom. It was... So how'd wow. you use the bathroom when the water was off? Stuff like that? <coughs> uh, we just went over to the school because it's like it's like a five minute walk, so it wasn't that bad. So does anyone have unlimited water? Mm. And is there pops? Like, like a sewer system? Like a water system, or do they just bring trucks and fill everything up? Mm, no, I don't actually know. I think they use. Uh, I think it's trucks. I think they That's use trucks. Wild. Like that. That's wild. Is the is the ground hard? Hard, yeah. Or is it just like sand? No, no. There's the sand. I mean, the sand is some places it's sand, but it's packed down. So, okay. Yeah. Highly traveled. Mm. By camels? Is there a lot of camels? 
Um, there's a lot of camels like way out in the country, but we didn't go there much. Um, there and they have some at like touristy stuff. Like what about horses, like oh, you can ride the camel. That's not. Did anybody ever play any? Of they the, didn't really have many horses. No. What do you call an instrument? The weird ones you always hear in their songs. Like you go to a local gas station here. What's the instrument called? Uh, what? What are you talking about? I don't know what it's called. They have okay. I I mean I don't know all the instruments they have there. I know the one that is like really popular is the oud, which is like a it's basically a, it's like a guitar. It's yeah. probably it. It's probably it. Because um, like every gas station plays that. <laughs> what we got here? You do got a turban. This is called a shmug. What's it do? It's um, it's just to like um, keep your head uh, shaded from the sun. They, it's like the king wears one of these instead of a crown. Uh, so, but it's just because it's the traditional headwear. Should have got a camo one. What is that like on top at band? Uh, it's just to hold it on your head because it'll fall off. Is it way. weighted? Not really. Like the bands? Mm-mm. Hmm. They just sit there. Yeah, kind of. So it's pretty much like a hat, or do you got to fold it yourself? Uh, you do got to fold it, but I didn't fold it because it's really complicated. They, there's like a specific way to fold it, and I don't know. That's weird. What well, we got here? This is the donut shop. What? With all the, uh, it has a bunch of like signs that like Hobby Lobby type stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and it has all these like English books, and uh, it says "Life is better at the lake," which I thought was really funny because there's not a single lake there. <laughs> there's no. No. <laughs> what is what is going on here? Is this is a <laughs> coffee know. shop. Yeah, yeah, it's a coffee or a donut shop. shop. Yeah, yeah, uh, coffee sh- coffee and donut shop. Yeah, yeah, they have a. Uh, uh, it's just in the city, like by the because we were staying by a university, and so all the college students come there. So it's all the there. the location of Jordan is in the desert. Mm, is it? Does mostly. it feel like the desert? Like yeah, once yeah. you get inside, or because that seems pretty American, I guess. Does many other places feel American, or does it feel different? Um, and would you agree that that feels American? Yeah, yeah, this is very American for sure. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, I don't know. I, it's, they, it's pretty like, De- I don't know. I, developed? Oh, yeah, it's very yeah, developed. Concept. Like, Jordan has, the thing about Jordan is, like, they have quite a bit of money, mm-hmm. for especially for the area. So, mm-hmm. like, um, they have a... Uh, you know, everybody's got cars and everybody lives in apartments and they have like, you know, air conditioning and water and all that good stuff. But they're limited on water. <laughs> they are limited on water. <laughs> Why would they make a city there? Uh, the reason. OK, so Amon actually, I think like 70 years ago, it was like 50,000 people. It was really small. 70,000? Like 70, no, 70, 70 years, years ago. ago? Yeah. Or seven? Like 70. Like oh, ni- okay. 1950 after World War Two. But then okay. they built a railroad. Oh, uh, and then it got really, really big. Hmm. Uh, it's like five million people now. So it like hundred x. That's a it's, lot. It's huge. Is it crowded? Mm. Probably nothing like China. Yeah, it's it's crowded, but it's like it's like spread out is the thing. So that like there's there's only tall buildings in like a few little parts of the city. Yeah. Um, it's pretty uh spread out. Okay. Let's see. What it's we not got? like it's not like New York or something. What we got here? This is me at the Dead Sea. Tell the, us about the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea is the lowest point on Earth. It's really? It's 420 meters below sea level, which is like, I don't know how many feet that is, but it's like a thousand and something. How does that work? Why does it not drain full of water? Because uh, there's mountains on all sides, so uh, it, water can't get in. That makes sense. Yeah. Is this and, a salty one? Yeah, yeah. It's nine times saltier than the ocean. And uh, because of that, um, you can't sink. And also, nothing lives there. You can't sink? No. You it you cannot sink. Like, you try to go under, and you can't. But you can swim in it? Yeah, you can swim in it. I got a picture later What's on. What's it feel like? It feels like you're swimming in, like, slime. Because it's so salty. It it feels like you're. It feels like you're swimming in like olive oil or something. <laughs> that would be like. Scary. It's it's really crazy. Yeah, there's me giving him a thumbs up. Was you in the Dead Sea? Yeah. What was I, it like when I'm you not, got I'm not I'm not standing up here either. I'm just floating. How deep is it? Is it pretty uh, deep? It it gets deep, but uh, at this point, um, 
like there's like a place over here where you can like stand mm -hmm. but um one of the things about like the standing place is like uh it's all salt and it's really sharp oh uh and it'll cut you up and it hurts it stinking hurts because i cut my finger on the salt and uh it, why didn't you bring some home salt i don't know because when you take it out of the water it like turns into powder it's what? like it's like it's really crazy like it's rocks in the water it's like so, big salt rocks and then you pick it up and it just turns into powder that is weird so it's it like hydrophobic almost it i guess yeah <laughs> that's kind of wild it, it, it is crazy did you taste it yeah is it super salty yeah it's really stinky. or is salty. it just like salty no salty? it's really really salty that's crazy and then that's you just floating because it's weird yeah and there's you floating again because mm -hmm. it's weird you can like see the water how it's like weird looking mm-hmm what we got here? This is me and my friend Jacob and his brother. I th I think his brother's name is Gavin. I forget, but <laughs> did I, they, they go with you? Th yeah, they were not. Uh, Jacob is in my class, but he left early because he's in uh, ROTC. Yeah. Uh, and his brother was just tagging along. He he doesn't know any Arabic. <laughs> but uh, he's just there. Yeah. We uh we this the we've got like this mud on because at the Dead Sea the thing about the Dead Sea why it's so important is because. The mud there is like good for your skin. Yeah. So they have all kinds of spas there and like uh, resorts. Yeah. Um, and and they they get this mud and they dig it up, and they ship it all over the world and make beauty products and stuff out of it. So did the uh, did what would happen if you didn't put mud on afterwards? Would it? Nothing. I mean, nothing. It's just like an extra thing. Like they have this little, they have this little rock circle around yeah. here and then there's like i don't know if you can see that but there's like a clay pot back there yeah and it's got a bunch of mud in it from like the ground around here huh what we got here this same thing sunset yeah did y'all ever have a mud fight no <laughs> i would have to deck somebody with a clot of mud did you throw dust mm -hmm. no pocket sand <laughs> no <laughs> pocket sand yeah. i would have to pocket sand someone <laughs> big palm tree looking outfit yeah this is at the hotel we were staying at yeah is that the hotel too yeah that's not really a good picture i don't know why i put it in there but it gets the point across yeah yeah there's a pool here oh so you stayed at a hotel while you was on the dead sea yeah yeah edge yeah yeah they have like resorts and stuff there how long did you stay there uh just one night yeah so you didn't <laughs> see any terrorist no but did you see any Tourist? We saw plenty of tourists. That's what I was surprised about. There's a lot of tourists. Can you believe someone goes there for fun? <laughs> There's no water, and yeah. people go there for fun. You've got limited water when you do have water. When you're smell. when you're at the hotel, you have unlimited water. They they have, they have, is it salty? Probably. No no no. Is the pool salty? No. Wow, that's a lot of fresh water. I, actually, I didn't go in the pool, so I can't notice that. But I did take. When you go to the hotels, it's really nice because you can take an actual shower. Yeah, and it's like the best. It's the best thing ever. Yeah, that's that's one. That's I really like these hotels. They're the we stayed at three hotels. All of them were owned by this like Swiss company called Movempic. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're really nice. Are they expensive? I don't know. I think they are, but I don't really know. As for the uh, as for who takes vacations there, could you tell where they were from? Yeah, yeah. They're, I mean, they're mostly, like, they're kind of mixed uh, Arabs and Europeans. So you get, like, okay. rich Arabs come there. Yeah. And uh, also rich Europeans. So. Is their rich really rich? No, no. And there's no like, 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 Brighton Price rich? Like, middle, like, middle class Arabs, too. I mean, middle class, like, Jordanians. It, I'm just saying rich Arabs because, um, you know, it costs money to, like, go across the border or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. So did they have to get something like a passport to come from Israel to there or what? Nobody goes from Israel to here because uh, they don't really like Just like in general. They don't really like each other that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Jordan pretty open and buddies with all their neighbors or not? Uh, honestly, I don't really know. I mean, I know like Syria, they don't really, they're not really on good terms with Syria, I think right now. Because mm -hmm. Syria is... um. In like the middle of a civil war, yeah. Um, I they like Israel okay, but they like Palestine better. So, because uh, all their people are <coughs> Palestinian. You good? <coughs> nope. 
And then, like, Saudi Arabia, I don't know. but Enjoying that American water. <laughs> American water. Yeah. What was the first, what was the best thing you, you got whenever you got home? What, what was you gladdest about? Was it water? The water Which you said nice. you had water. But yeah, not some water. Yeah. You had the good water, but you didn't have the not. You had you did, no couldn't tap have water. tap water, which seems backwards. Really though, yeah. Why didn't they just pump salt water through it? Because that destroy everything. Why, why, you can't wash your clothes in salt water. You can't, you can't take I don't a shower. Wash clothes. You can't take a shower in salt water. Why not? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, maybe you can, but I don't know. Just be good and gritty. Be like sandpaper. <laughs> you scrub. <laughs> What we got here is this a Roman Colosseum. Yeah, this is the Roman ruins. Uh, oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh. This is like a city center. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. I don't really know much about this place, but it was cool. What's this? What this is, is that? This is the same place, but this is all Roman ruins over here. And then this, this is the town of uh, Jerush. Yeah. Which is like a, it's pretty big. It's like two or three hundred thousand people. So it's a big, big town. Um, this is the uh, Roman theater. This is like the stage here. That back there, you, I I didn't take a picture of, it, but there's like a seating mm-hmm. area. And so then, you're in this right now. Mm, yeah, this is where the king sits right here, or the governor, or whatever it was. I don't know. Wow, that's crazy. How did he get up there? Or there's there... like a, there's some <laughs> stairs over here. Oh okay. <laughs> he had yeah. to jump. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They they had to get a really tall king. Oh, is this big pano? There. Yeah. This is this is at uh, Ajloon Castle. Is this what you'd call with trees in the northern part? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. I mean, like, there's not very many over here, but, like, if you look over here, it's all green. Like, here. So, that's the, mo- that's the most wooded parts. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, look over here. This, it's, like, all trees. You see? Good two acres. <laughs> no, no, like zoom in, zoom in. You'll see how. All right, like, let's zoom in. Let's zoom in. It's huge. Like, uh, I wouldn't call that super thick. I've seen more. It's, tr- it's the thing is like there's a lot of trees. There's just not any grass. There's more trees yeah. than Kendall's backyard. So it looks like there's less, but there is there is a lot. Which of Which grass there. is very important. Yeah. Are those all the same kind of trees? And do you have any idea uh, what they are? I think they're um. There's grass. Where, it looks to me, yeah. <laughs> is that what that is? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I think it's like spruce. Oh, so they're like evergreen trees? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the most useless kind of tree. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they're life. pretty useless. Yeah, they have like olive trees too. Oh, here we go. KFC. Oh, yeah. Now, yeah, we're right. KFC. now we're getting now we're getting into it. Okay. This is the KFC I had at the mall, and there's I put another picture of the mall in here, but I think it's at the end. All right, so as for pricing, we got four seven five zero. Is that dollars that's or like, that's Romanian? like about seven dollars? Dang, but, that's a lot. Yeah, you can't really see it with the chickens back behind. That's brown. a lot, even for here. Yeah, they got the chicken, uh, the fries, the roll, coleslaw. Can they read KFC? Yeah, yeah. Every, there's a lot see, of people that can, th- like yeah. English is actually. Oh shoot. There's English is like an official language of Jordan. Mm-hmm. So they a lot of people speak English there. It's just that everybody speaks Arabic. All right, now I got I got a serious question right now, mm. and I I just now realized I got some in my ear. I I just now realized is that just a picture of a cookie? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. just a picture. <laughs> and that's not actual corn either. No, is it? no. <laughs> What's in the little blue packages? Is that like mayonnaise or something? Uh, probably. What and about I, I that? What, that is. what is that? That's coleslaw. So, was this the most American place there is? I mean, they got like McDonald's and stuff. There's a lot of American fast food. Like, they have Burger King and Pizza Hut. The receipt KFC is 100% McDonald's. in English. Yeah. Did they do that for everybody? Uh, Yeah. Did they speak English to you? At the mall, yeah. At the mall, everybody speaks English. Huh. Was the fries good? Yeah. Do we have fries at our KFC? Yes. I think we do. I ain't never tried them. Yeah, I think actually the chicken at this KFC was better than the chicken at our KFC. Was it bigger? Not really. No, I was about to say. Like, was it GMO or non-GMO? yeah. (laughs) But it's all Jordanian. They made a big deal about that. Like, it's all Jordanian chicken. So Yeah. Oh yeah, this is uh, a. <laughs> what we got here? We were driving uh, to. Um, where were we driving to? 
Looks like Chad. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. We were driving to Wadi Rum, which mm-hmm. is like a big desert place. And there's a big goat in the back of this guy's car. Truck. Say that name again. Wadi what? Wadi Rum. It means uh, Rum Valley. And it's oh, not like not like the drink rum. Like, I don't think anybody... It's called Rum, uh, rum Valley, but they don't know what rum comes from. It's just the name. Like, I don't think anybody really knows what it means. Was there a lot of dogs and cats and animals? There was a few dogs that people had, but there are stray cats everywhere. Like, all over the place. Was there stray goats? No, I didn't see any stray goats. Did you see any cows at all? Mm, no. Did you see any beef? To eat? Um, only at, like, um, only at, like, American restaurants. Wow. Could you hunt in Jordan? Or do yeah, you yeah. Know? Oh, yeah, yeah. I got to tell you about that. So, um. My uh, <laughs> my professor's uh, uh, brother, yeah. um, I forget his name, but uh, we went to his house one day, or his like his uh, his my professor's dad's house. Yeah, and his brother was there, and uh, he was this. Uh, he's like the village chief, maybe or something. I don't know what he is. He's some important political guy, but mm-hmm. he has like. Um, he has like a TikTok and he was showing us all his TikTok stuff. And he can't really speak any English, but he's like, I am the Texas Bedouin. I'm from Texas. I'm from Texas. And he's showing us all his like TikTok and stuff. And it's all like him hunting. And he's, he's like, he goes out in the desert in his like truck or whatever and brings his rifles and he goes and shoots like birds and stuff. It's really funny. Hunting's like a big thing out there. <laughs> they Yeah, they hunt a lot. Uh, but only like in, out in the country, you know. The city, his- city people don't hunt. Did he just use an AK to hunt or what? No, no. I mean, they use like uh, shotguns, like, right? No, no. Well, yeah. Yeah. For the birds. Yeah. They have like actual they have, like, weird birds. birds. Yeah, yeah. That's like a big deal, isn't it? I think so. You yeah. went to a I gun store. Do you, do you know if the picture of the gun store is in here? Uh, I don't. You can Google it, though. They have pictures on the website. All right. It's called the Gun House. That's where I got this shirt from. The Gun House? Mm-hmm. Could, how, how do you buy a gun there? Is it like here? Uh, I think so. I don't know. I didn't ask. Let's see what they got. Big gun house, Jordan. Like a gun store? Yeah, it's a gun store. They don't have that many guns. It's like... Small maybe, selection? Yeah, yeah. They had maybe like... Okay. Getting, we'll send you the invoice later, Jordanian <laughs> gun store. Let's see. What should we look up? Firearms and ammo. Let's see what kind of firearms they got. They need nice to update home. their website. They definitely <laughs> yeah, they, need to upstate. I don't know. Go to their... I think they had it on their Facebook. I don't know if I'll be able to get on Facebook, but we'll see. Okay, wait, don't, don't go to Facebook then. Okay. Go to, uh, just look up Gun House. Oh, here we go. Okay, whatever. Fine. Let's see. Photos? Yeah. yeah let's see what they got. There's a big SKS. Oh, heck yeah. There we go. Dang. Should have brought that. Brought it back somehow. <laughs> I don't think they would have left. We need that. Before. Their last post was in 2019. Mm. There's just, there's the birds. This is a Samsung Galaxy negative <laughs> two quality. <laughs> There's a sale. Okay. <laughs> okay. Go go back. Go what? back to the Google. Go back to Google. Okay. No, no. What we got? No. Google? Google Gunhouse Amon. A M M A N. Now what? Now, now images? Can, here's the pictures, yeah. Yeah, let's go with images. Let's see what we got. No, no, go back. Go back. Oh yeah, that's what we need. What? <laughs> no, go go back. <laughs> go back where? The to the Like all? go to all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then click on this. Where it says see photos. Okay. There's their phone number. Oh, okay. Always be ready. <laughs> now, 511. Now go to the next picture. What is 511? 511, is, it's like a... Clo- 511 tactical. It's like a, cro- a clothes brand. I have, like, this, this right here? is a 511 shirt. Yeah, yeah, this is the... Let's see. So there's some of their shotguns. They don't exactly have a ton of options. Mm-hmm. Got some shotties in the back. Got some vests. Okay. What we got right here? Some kind of... I the, couldn't the tell deer. you. Some, some kind of deer. I don't know. Did you see many people with guns or weapons? Just no, no, like citizens. I, I saw like, well, maybe maybe when we went to the village, I don't remember the village, like where my professor's family lives. You you stayed in the city part. Uh huh. Okay, I don't know much about cities. Yeah, it was weird. Like, cause a lot of my classmates they live in like, uh, like L. A. and Nashville and yeah stuff like that. So they know how to live in the city, and I don't even know how to live in the city. So there's even like extra. It's a lot Extra of tri-stars. Yeah. Which tri-star is... Aren't they from... Pac- uh, Turkey. Yeah. Is Turkey pretty close? Fairly close, yeah. A lot of these guns are from Turkey, which makes a lot of sense why they're there. 
Hmm. Let's see. What else we got? We got anything else? Oh, what is that? Blunderbuss? Who knows? Let's see. We'll skim through, skim through. Is it like chokes for shotgun right up there? I don't know why this picture's <laughs> on their Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. Is that the owner? I don't know who that is. Is that how they usually dress? Uh, no, no, not really. What kind know. of video are they posting on their Facebook page? I don't, I don't know what this is. <laughs> this has nothing to do with their gun store. I'm gonna guess this has. This is not posted by them. That's my guess. I think it is. No, it's. Oh, I don't what? know. Okay, whatever. I don't know. Should call them up and ask them why that's on there. <laughs> what time is it there right uh, now? It's uh, seven hours ahead of us. So it's okay. Uh, what time is it here? Uh, we'll say it's two. It'd be the, like nine o'clock in the. Okay, in, that at, ain't bad. Nine o'clock at night. What's their t- What's their hours like? Do they stay up all night and sleep all day or what? No. <laughs> no, I mean. Is it just like us? More or less. Like no. get up at seven, go to sleep at ten. Okay. Basically, because a lot of Europe places they stay out. Way late. Spain, I mean, some some people do stay out late. Like, yeah. Because especially because like in the city, there's like stuff to do at night. Like they go to the they go to the cafes and stuff at night and hang out. Did you enjoy any of the nightlife? What well, would you do? Just walk we around went to and like some cafes and uh, smoked uh, shisha, which is like t- it's tobacco. It's not like what? How? how what's that happen at night with the temperature? Does it go uh, way down? Or yeah, just... yeah, it gets really cold at night. Okay. Like, uh, well, in the summer, like, it's only, like, 50 or something. Did they have any, like, age on, like, when you could smoke that stuff, or is it yeah, all highly age, regulated? I think, like I think the age know? limit is, like, uh, I think it's, like, 18 or something like that. Because, like, Germany, stuff like that, like, you turn 14, that's legal yeah. drinking age there. <laughs> they, I think drinking age in Jordan is, like, 18 as well. But the, the thing is, like, uh, Muslims aren't really supposed to drink, so... Uh, even if you're like legal, you kind of have to do it secretly. <laughs> and for you guys who are wondering, I I don't drink, but and we're we're all Christians. But now yeah. Jordan is a big hardcore Muslim, yeah, Muslim place. But there, the thing about Jordan though is there is a large. It's one of the only Muslim countries where there's a large Christian minority, and they get along really well. Okay, like you go, you go, you go to. Uh, any Christian part of the country and everybody's wearing like big cross necklaces and has <laughs> like cross tattoos and stuff like that. And like cross bumper stickers. They, and, and you'll like, if you meet a Christian, you'll know it there. Really? Yeah. How? Cause they're, they're like, they're very open about it. Like they're very uh, vocal about it. But, but, uh, um, they're not like, uh, the thing is, I think you can't like, um, you can't try to convert people. Like, uh, it's kind of illegal hmm. or something. But uh, you can be a Christian there. You just can't talk. You can't really talk about religion to people of other religions. Hmm. Well, I mean, you can, you know, you can talk, talk and stuff. Like there's free, yeah. there's free speech laws and stuff there. But uh, what was the biggest? What was the like for you being not usually being around a bunch of stuff like Muslims? I guess like how is it different? Uh, well, they have like okay. Could so, you tell? How could you yeah, yeah. tell well, if you could tell? They have mosques everywhere. Yeah. And you know, at the mosque, they have the call to prayer like mm-hmm. five times a day, um, which uh, it's kind of weird at first because it's like you'll just be like walking down the street and you'll hear <laughs> some guy singing like really loud. <laughs> uh, and in, in a lot of Muslim countries, people will like stop and pray, I guess. But yeah. in Jordan, like nobody cares because they're Muslims, but they're not like super super religious. Yeah. Um, so did it go off five times a day? Mm-hmm. It, and it goes off in the middle of the night too. Like, could you could you hear it no three. matter where you was? Yeah, yeah. How yeah. Did, is it like over a speaker? Or is somebody yeah. like screaming? It's like, over a speaker. Yeah. Like, where's the speaker? Like the sirens we got here, or something like that. Uh, like the storm yeah. siren. Yeah, yeah, kind of like that. It's like, and they, they they the mosques have like towers, and they have a big old speaker on top of it. So. Let's see. Um, I was gonna ask something. Did it rain while you was there? Um, no, not once. No, I missed rain. I, I it rained the day I left, uh, and I I sat outside and uh, uh, like stood in it, like just let it fall me because I was like I'm never gonna see this again for two months, and then I didn't. <laughs> so yeah, but it in the winter it rains, but uh, in the summer I think they get an average of zero 
days of rain a year. <laughs> or in the summer. As, just in the summer. But in the winter, it rains, like, pretty regular. Hmm. I bet this... All right, we, we need to try this juice, because I think it's going to... I think it's getting warm. All right, let's try. Abram brought us some oh, yeah. juice from I, Pakistan kinda, or something. It's warm. I don't know. It'll be fine. It's it's supposed to be like really cold, but it's only a little cold. What does what does the eight twenty on top mean? <laughs> That's I just bought. I just got this jar from home. What is it? Before we drink it, uh, it's lemon and mint. Is that good? Sure. <laughs> What is this? I definitely it's li- it's lemonade and it's got mint in it. Mm-hmm. You can definitely smell the mint. Why you why is it coming in a sketchy jar then? It's because the 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 bottle it, I got it I brought it in kind of got a little crushed on the airplane, so uh, uh, I had to put it in a jar. Who made this? Like um, someone in the middle of the street? No no no. I, I there's a company called uh, Al Rubia. And it's like in oh okay you know, that one it's from yeah. Saudi Arabia so they they make it and they just bring it over to so what is it again I don't uh, know. Lemon, it's, lemon, lemon it smells what's good. it do can you hear it's uh they make it because it's like it's like very it's supposed to be very refreshing especially when it's like really cold in the desert is it like fluoride <laughs> yeah yeah teeth? it's got poison <laughs> too so yeah it's good for your teeth but it'll also kill you. Go go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Is it almost gives me the color of like like gas? And <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. It smells good. Just Is try it flammable? I don't think so. Try it. Try it. All I taste is mint. It's it's don't get me wrong. It's not like super like mint, but it's 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 mint. You can tell. You can definitely tell. It's pretty good. I kind of like it. I do too. I kind of do. Was there any? So this is that's what you'd call, I guess, a I don't know, Middle Eastern thing. Yeah, yeah. It's because you don't see us in Kentucky. No, I think it, the thing about like I brought a couple things that are like Middle Eastern, but I don't think they're like specifically Jordanian. It's just like general Middle East desert stuff. I don't like the smell. It's got a sour. It's got a sour like aftertaste. But yeah, the, after, gotta, the aftertaste is kind of weird. It's not as bad when it's like really cold. But it's the same color as we, gas. We should have. We should have. I should have let you drink it at the beginning of the podcast. Ninety-three octane. It, I fine. do say though, if there's like any Jordan people watching, send me more of this. I like it. <laughs> what I'm else try, you have? I'm gonna try to make some when I get. Uh, you really home. should. It's it's pretty good. Mm. I got some mint. I might I might try to do that. This is uh I finished mine. This is called <laughs> halva or halawa. Did you already say that it was just lemonade with mint? Yeah, basically. Okay. I think it well, actually also ju- has a little apple juice in it because they I got an cheaper. apple hint. I got a hint of like apple. Why don't they just do lemonade? Uh cuz the mint is more refreshing. Oh. I can see that. I don't know that much about mint. I don't really do that. Is this candy or like a granola bar? This These. is candy. It's really weird too. So you probably don't want to eat the whole thing because I don't know if you guys will like it. Wow! Like I, what I, is I was, it? Uh, it goat is, fat? No. Here, do you goat want to hoof. It's, it's got a little. It's a little oily because I don't know why, but it, it smells. You know what this smells like? It smells kind of like a Reese's in a way. It's um. It's a uh, sesame. And uh, pistachio. We ate it before we even said it was. Sesame. <laughs> what if we're allergic to it? Yeah, tahini. <laughs> uh, does it have pistachios in it? Oh, I guess this one doesn't have pistachios in it. It normally does, but. It kind of falls it's got apart vanilla. in your mouth. How much does something like that cost you? This one was like, uh, like 50 cents maybe? I don't know. It's kind of weird. I, I know it's kind of weird. I just thought I just thought it'd be funny if you tried it. It's pretty good. I, I appreciate the juice and the candy. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. That was just, this. This is another thing that's not exactly Jordanian. It's like just Middle Eastern. This one specifically is made by a Jordanian company. But um, you can or Ethan, you can get. You don't have any more. water left. No. That, <laughs> to me, I don't know if it's doing it to you, but it's kind of like like Do the peanut butter. Wine? No, it's, it's all like right. locking, Thank you, locking it up. It's just like it like dissolved in my mouth and my mouth dry. That's what it done. Mine for me. dissolved. Did it do that to you? I didn't eat any. 
I don't like it that much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like it, but it kind of, I don't know how you explain it, but you know, like the astronaut food, like the peanut butter, to me, that's the vibes it gives me. It's like a really dehydrated peanut butter. Yeah, it is kind of like peanut butter. Yeah. yeah, it is dehydrated. Yeah. Probably because there's no humidity there. <laughs> Dries it out before it could yeah. get here. I read. I was reading something about it today. It's like uh, there, it's so dry, and it helps it because um, in the uh, like in the summer, any time other than the summer, you can uh, store it at room temperature. Like that. Yeah, and it won't like go bad. Cause like uh, it's candy. Okay. It's got like sugar and stuff. But yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Does a lot of things go bad over there? Oh, tell me this. Their meat. Is Do they just like have like a table out in the street with a bunch of meat on it? Uh, no. Is there. that somewhere else? Is there a Walmart there? No, they have um they have other supermarkets. So like the, the main one is uh, Carrefour. It's like, I think it's French maybe. It's like a French company. I don't know. But that's the big, that's the biggest uh, supermarket they have there. So did they have like a marketplace like on the street where they people would like like a farmer's market but like a i don't know like a oh sorry a, jordanian a farmer's market oh they have like markets and stuff yeah do they have any meat um uh, just like chilling on a table uh no they i mean they keep their meat in like fridges and stuff so, so okay. they have like refrigerators i think they're more developed than we think yeah they they are like um the, like Jordan is very developed. It's just that a lot of people choose to live like a more traditional lifestyle. Yeah. What is this? A rock? This is the Seven Pillars Mountain. Hmm. Uh, is there any fish on it? <laughs> no. Is there any fish in there? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I mean, I didn't go inside, so I don't really know. Did you see any fish while you was there? Uh, yeah. So you did. Mm-hmm. Where'd they get it? The ocean. <laughs> The ocean? Mm-hmm. Not the Dead Sea, though, right? No, not the Dead Sea. No, so it had to come in pretty good ways. Yeah. I'm probably about the same at but, I mean, ocean fish has in to In Aqaba, here. go back to the map. Okay. That's not the map. That's a goat. <laughs> All right, in the map. <laughs> like this this place right here. That's no. that's in Jordan. So not Elliot. Elliot's in Israel. but Oh, so that has water in it? I mean, right that here. has fish in it? Yeah, yeah. It's oh, okay. It's the ocean. Did so you that's ever the Dead Sea. They, they also get fish from like over here, from okay. other countries did you okay. ever fish or anything sense. there not here no not there also let me ask you this question we talked about cars but is there like a lot of like mopeds like scooters there oh i want a scooter um i i think i saw some but they're not really common so it's kind of not like india or vietnam where all this like <laughs> scooting on a scooter no uh i will say though what they do like they do like four wheelers a lot really? like out, out in the country they love four wheeling can am uh uh, probably I don't know. <laughs> probably a Honda. Isri Jordan. Probably a Honda. Maybe or just straight. Probably China. Hondas. Yeah, I think. Where's I Honda think from? Honda stuff. Japan. Oh. Uh. Probably yeah. Yeah, they like four wheelers and Mitsubishi. I think they have stuff there. I don't know. I don't know all the four wheeler brands, but. What was the craziest driving you seen? Like, what kind of examples? Like, was they just like? Swap? They like will drive in the middle of two lanes for like ever. I do that. Uh, <laughs> like when there's a lot of cars on the road. Yeah. And uh, um, they will they will cut you off just like for like just just anything. And that you're on the highway and you'll be like there'll be like two cars and they'll pass like within inches of each other, hmm. like going 50 miles an hour. And so they don't even mean to. It's just like no, it's just second nature. It's like it's they they don't even think about it. Did you ask your drivers if they Saw many wrecks. Uh, since they've been there longer, or just didn't ask. Me? I think I don't remember asking anybody that. I I think uh, maybe somebody said they saw a wreck or something. Like what that. is this? Oh yeah, this is our uh, tent that we stayed in. We stayed in a tent in this in like Wadi Rum, the uh, Rum Valley. Yeah. Um, the tent has like a metal frame and a light bulb and an air conditioning and electricity and uh, beds. And if you go to the next picture, okay, uh, it also had this bathroom with like plumbing, a sink, a toilet, a shower, with tile floor. Yeah, yeah. that's some tent. So they live in tents, but these are the kind of, <laughs> these are the kind of tents they live in. So it's like it's a tent, but it's like 
th- this was like a, a, a hotel kind of thing. So like yeah. their version of a mobile home. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. They're glamping. Yeah, yeah. This is glamping. This is not what they actually like live in. Because most of the places they they just live in houses, like regular houses. Yeah. Is their house design different? Yeah. Um their houses are they're all really tall. Like you go in mm. the like village, like out in the middle of nowhere. And everybody lives in like two, three story houses. <laughs> Uh, even like the, even the relatively poor people. For like, a reason? Um, no, I think it's just cause they can. Like, I don't really know why, but, but like, um, they build all their houses out of stone mm. and, uh, tile cause, uh, stone is really cheap there. <laughs> so they don't build anything out of wood because they can't find wood. Yeah. They don't have wood at all. Yeah. There's no wood. Or not much at least. If you find anything made out of wood, it's really bad. Because the wood there is like really low quality. Toyota. Yeah, this is a truck we drove. I, I was in this truck, but this truck here. Pretty much the same as what you're in. Yes, yeah, the same truck. See, you got the bars here and then the seats. Huh. There's, there's chairs in the back. We're just driving through the desert. This is still in Rum Valley. Um, this place is really cool. Is it just sand? Yeah. What is that? This is a picture of Lawrence of Arabia. That um, the people that live in this village here. Yeah. They carved it in 1917 oh. when he came through here. I don't know if you guys... Do you know about Lawrence of Arabia? No. He was like this British guy who was like in the army back in World War One, And he helped the uh, he helped the Arabs fight the uh, Turks. And they he was kind of a hero. Was that World was cool War One? Yeah. Okay. The what's Turks it? was 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 who? Like Turkey. The Ottoman Empire. Okay. so Dude, what's that in that hole? Is that a robot? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. I think that's like a piece of cloth or something. I don't know. So or it might be trash. Yeah. I don't know what that is. So they just carved out this random British guy's face because they he helped them? Yeah. What's his name? Uh, Lawrence. Uh, T.E. Lawrence. Okay. Yeah, he, they made a movie about him. Or I think they made more than one. There's a guy with a BTS hat on. I <laughs> I just saw that. Was he with your crew? No, I don't know who that guy is. Is this in the tents or what? Yeah, this is the tent, like, right beside that uh, rock carving. <laughs> they had, like, this is a big tourist area. Yeah. So people, like, come in here, and this guy will make tea for him. I, my finger is kind of in the camera, so sorry about that. But. You have a Turkish Mauser, don't you? That guy beat you. Beat it. <laughs> Do what? That guy beat it. Sent your Turkish Mauser back to the house. Oh, yeah. What we got here? It's just another mountain. Another rock? Yeah, it's another mountain. I don't know what that is. That's a cool picture of the sunset, I thought. Who's no, that? It's not a really good picture, but this is me, and this guy's name is Muhammad. He's like a college professor in Saudi Arabia. He Did you just, know him? Yeah, yeah. He drove us around. Oh. Uh, he was cool. Is Muhammad a common name over there? Yeah, it's really common. Like, everybody's named Muhammad there. I think, actually, Muhammad is the most common name in the world. Rabbi John. Uh, John. Yeah, John and Muhammad are the two most common names. What about socks? Did you ever wear socks? I was wearing socks here, yeah, because I was wearing boots. We wore boots to hike this place, but uh, we didn't wear socks often. Also, the picture is better on my laptop, so... Yeah, sorry about that. It's a little faded. No, it's a little faded on the TV, and I don't know why. <clears throat> Maybe because we're at a weird angle, though. Yeah. Oh, more There's sand. A, another picture of us. These are my friends here. Uh, this guy's also a college professor. He's like 30. He was cool. My, uh, is that the same guy? No, this is um, my professor's uh, son-in-law. I mean, uh, yeah. Wait. Yeah. What, is his name Muhammad? No, his name is Laith. He, <laughs> he took oh, a lot of my cool pictures. Name. <laughs> he took a lot of my pictures. Laith. Uh, yeah, he's a good photographer, actually. But he does not speak any English. Like... Everybody else like spoke English. He didn't speak any English. I think he just didn't want to. Say know. some stuff in Arabic for us. Like what? Best podcast in the world. I don't know how to say podcast. Asin podcast del Yee yee. Can you say? <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I'm say. What? I'm say. Say go shoot that bird in the desert, boy. Mm, I don't know how to say shoot. Go stab that bird in the desert, boy. <laughs> say say we it. have a pool to fill up. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to say pool, <laughs> but they, I don't. But they probably don't even have a word for pool. 
Because there's no water. Yeah. <laughs> they don't have pools. <laughs> no, I guess I, well, there was literally just a picture of a pool a while back, so I can't really say that. But what we got here? This Those that, are your tents? Yeah, the same tents. Oh, that, man. These are the tents we stayed in. Is that their version of a trailer park? <laughs> <laughs> this is, I mean, this is like a, we stayed here, this is like for tourists. How hot is it in the tents? Does the air uh, conditioner actually help? It, yeah, it, it helps a lot. Dang. And especially at night. like this. There's the Kareem building. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This is uh this is Aqaba. It's the city the furthest south city. Mm. It's on the ocean. Did you like Pretty it? Cool. That city better than anywhere else? No. It was kind of boring, actually. Were all the cities about the same? No, no, they're all different. What made them different? Uh the people who live Aqaba, in them? Aqaba Aqaba is kind of uh Aqaba is cool. Like there's like um the ocean there. Yeah. So they have a lot of ocean stuff there, like Oh, yeah. seafood restaurants and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But the the thing about Aqaba is it's kind of oh. it's kind of trashy. Like there's like a lot of uh, which is this place. Yeah, because yeah. it's so touristy. They mm-hmm. have a lot of um, like uh, people that sell to tourists and stuff. I don't, Terrorists? I don't tourists. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really like Aqaba that much. It was okay. It was cool. Let me was ask the fish this. Good? The fish? I didn't eat fish in Aqaba. Let me ask this. So we said there's no American cars, but is there anything? There's like, American cars, like muscle cars. Uh, I sports cars. Okay, well, oh, I this saw, is a video. Oh yeah, this is a video. It's a sunrise. It's not really cool. I mean, it's oh, it's a time lapse. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Yeah, I saw like a. I think I saw like a Mustang or something. I don't know. I didn't. There's nothing really like fancy. This is us eating at a gas station. I thought that was funny. The gas stations there are huge, like all of them. They're all like two and three stories tall, and they all have like five different shops in them. Huh? How uh, do you say gas? Uh, um, Durga Durga. <laughs> it's like gas or something. I don't know. It's it's a loan word. It's like from English or something. Uh, I don't know. What is that? Fur? This is <laughs> this is kanafa. It's um. It's like a Palestinian dessert. It's the best thing in the world. I love it. It's so good. It's like um it's kind of like it's a bit it's a little <laughs> bit like cheesecake, I guess. I don't know. It's it's not really like cheesecake at all, but that's the best thing I could compare it to. Uh it's got like like this gooey cheese stuff on the bottom and then this is like shredded dough on top that's like kind of toasted. And then they have like a crushed up pistachios and they pour this like sugar sauce on it. It looks like you just got done scanning a cat, and that's what's left. <laughs> it does look good. I think. It, it is really stinky. What's good. the green stuff? Pistachios. pistachios. Oh. Yeah. I, lo- I love pistachios, man. Mm. They're different. They, they they put pistachios on stuff. This is us at the, the Kanafa restaurant. Uh, this is us at the, the doctor's house. The I mean, the, the professor's house. This is my surprise birthday party. <laughs> they, <laughs> This is a dumb picture. I don't know why I put that in there. But. Did they have like a mask thing over there too? They do, but nobody really cares. It's, it's about like here. <laughs> yeah. No, they're. I think they're. I think it's coming back. I don't know. I, I it would come back, but nobody around here will care. I don't know. <laughs> this, this is the same uh, Roman stuff. No, this is a different place. Oh. This is in uh, uh, Irbid, which is like close to the Syrian border. How long ago was Rome? About two thousand. Yeah, about 2,000 years ago. Yeah, okay. That's a long time. Yeah, this is just a different Roman ruins. Uh, uh, <laughs> this is a bowl of pasta I had. I, I like that. I like That's what I'm pasta. talking about. But this is the best pasta I've ever had. It was like six six dinar, too, which is like nine bucks. Is was, that lamb? It's chicken. Oh. And they had... Oh, this one actually did have beef in it. It had beef bacon because mm. they can't eat pork bacon. Because they're religion? Yeah, yeah. But the beef bacon is so good, man. It's like really good. This is the best bowl of pasta I've ever eaten. It was it was of, like nine bucks, too. What awesome. kind of animals did you see down there? I'm talking farm animals, wild animals, uh, um, pests. You know, I, okay, so I saw like a few camels, not much. Yeah. Um, You do see like goats and sheep. Where would uh, you chickens. see them at? Just like on a hill? Back of trucks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like on the side of the road, stuff. People, you'll see like a shepherd and stuff. Um, Do they have fences? <clears throat> uh, sometimes, yeah. But mm-hmm. they, they just kind of stay away from the road. Um, but uh, another thing is um, for pets, people have like dogs and cats and stuff sometimes. But they really, really like birds, like mm-hmm. pet birds. I don't know why. But they have, like we went down one street in Amman 
And like the whole street was just bird shops where they would just sell birds. It was it was really weird. <laughs> that is weird. Mm -hmm. Did you see any wild animals? Like a random squirrel or maybe uh, a deer? Any roadkill? Hmm. I think I saw some roadkill, but I don't remember what it was. <laughs> They're probably smart enough to know not to be in the road. There's not a lot of animals there. Not really. Yeah, there's not much for them to eat and drink. I'm sure there's stuff if you look, though. There's obviously things to hunt. This is the restaurant. Let's see, this is why I said the pictures were out of order, but yeah, the picture a while back of us, I guess this is this picture. Now we're like here, but this picture where we were at the gas station, this is the restaurant we were eating at. Oh, okay. And there's another picture. I don't know if I put it in there, but this sign here is like all misspelled English words. And it's really funny. Do you think they did it on purpose? No. <laughs> no, I don't. Wait, <laughs> so what? Go back. This is like delicies. Uh, Breastfault Limpson. I don't know, like, Drin. Onion oil. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. They're missing an L in cold. Oh, yeah. yeah. And healthy. Heathy. <laughs> I don't know. You can go. What's this? This is the entrance to Petra. Which is a what? Petra is like, um, it's like an old city made by mm. the the Nabataeans or something i don't know it's like an old a old civilization they carved their homes and like buildings and stuff into this side of a mountain um and it's like really famous it's probably the most famous part of jordan um it was in indiana jones last crusade yeah is that what you was telling me about mm -hmm. and i had no idea what, what you was talking about yeah yeah oh, and then i guess i figured it out yeah so like you know in the last crusade when they go in that yeah yeah they go in that place and they get the holy grail like that's that's where that is. Uh, you'll see. Wait, it. is that the actual one? Yeah, yeah. Really? Because mm -hmm. the one in Indiana Jones looks kind of fake. No, it's real. Like you, you, you'll see it here in a second. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Oh my gosh! It's the real the real place. Did you get the whole thing? Uh, uh yeah, yeah. Did you I, must, go in? I was thinking of something no, you different. Can't, you then. can't go in. You can't. Mm -mm. Can anybody? You. Does anyone? No. Do they you... have records of what's in there? Uh yeah, I mean like they also send like archaeologists and stuff in there, but you can't go in there. Uh, as a terrorist. You think you could just run in? Uh, there's like security guards. So. Now, how, how long ago was that made? Um, I don't know, actually. Because that's some complex stuff. I it's was really thinking, old. It's over a thousand years old for sure. Wow. I was thinking of the ones where it's like hardcore. Or not hardcore, but not hardcore. Where they kind of just live. Like yeah. Indians. They, they have a, there's, a, there's a few of those, but... This is the this is the same place, but there's like a it's like a theater. Wow. Uh, How deep does that go in there? What? No, no. It's you walk on the other side of it. So you like go around the mountain. It doesn't really go that deep. Then why would they build such a crazy entrance for not much on the inside? Because it looks cool. They had a lot of free time. Yeah, they did. There's have, not a, they I didn't guess have a lot of free time. I guess there's nothing else to do in Jordan. <laughs> yeah. Hunt birds or build carve rocks. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what they carved them with. Another rock? <laughs> Probably so. Probably in like a hammer. I don't know. Is this the same a, place? Yeah, the same place. This is a temple. They actually just built this out of bricks. I bet the aliens carved it. <laughs> there ain't no way you're taking two rocks and making a oh, clean cut is. like that. Yeah, this is the whole. This is the whole thing. Look at that. Yeah, they ain't climbing up there. The aliens did that. See, they got like, uh, see, those are steps right there. They walked up those little, like, <coughs> footholes, and they went up here and carved it. But see? they ain't slinging no hammer and stuff either yeah. while they're, like, just balanced on. I, I can't figure out how deep it goes in there. Uh, They, this is where, this is the treasury. So it's, like, where they kept all their money and stuff. <laughs> what money? Like, gold and stuff. What, they live in back in the old days. Keep in mind, America's only like 300 years old, ain't it? Less than that. Yeah. That's crazy. These it's, people it's are like thousands. It's not even 250 years old. Yeah. It's 200. Yeah, I guess this year makes 245. That's crazy, ain't it? <clears throat> What's Th that? This is the hotel we stayed at. In, Tatooine? Uh, in Petra. Yeah. Same, is that a whale? Place. Yeah. I think it's fake. Actually, 
just there for looks. Yeah, I think it's just there for looks. I could be wrong, but I don't know. I don't remember. What we got there? Uh, okay, so this is at um, Jebel Nebo, or like Mount Nebo, I guess. If you try to tell us that ain't aliens, I don't know what you're doing. This is, uh, this is at a church, actually. Um, a Catholic church that they built uh, in honor of Moses, because apparently Moses is buried on this mountain somewhere. They don't really know where, but... Mm-hmm. Um, they built this like statue and Decepticon. <laughs> it's like a it's like a cross with a snake on it. I don't, I Is don't it know. metal? Yeah, it's metal. How long ago did they build that? Um, I don't know. That's pretty recent. Oh. This is the church inside the church. Are that, you allowed to walk on that? No, no. It's like we're on a like a bridge over it. Oh. It's like a mosaic, so they get like little pieces of stone and on the ground too. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cool. Same church. Uh, that's a different church, actually. Um, that looks Catholic. So this is actually Orthodox church. <laughs> so close, <laughs> but no cigar. What's orth- Orthodox? They're like, uh, uh, they're kind of like Catholics, but they don't have a pope. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're they're a little different. I so mean, they, they don't like each other. So. This is another church. Sorry if there's any Orthodox or Catholic people. Pope Beetlejuice. This is a mall. That's a big mall. Looks yeah. like it's a dead mall. Oh, uh, it looks like it's a prison. New. It's new. The thing about the malls there, they will just like build them and hope stuff comes in. <laughs> like it's the you see a lot of like really nice, really empty buildings, like new buildings. Wow. So they're pretty much abandoned. Uh, kind of, but it's just like nobody was ever there in the first place. But Don't this, go in there, Brighton. This Price. mall. This mall is pretty new. Can like, you just uh, walk in there though, even though there's yeah. no one else there? Mm-hmm. Is there not one shop in there? No, there's shops in there. Like the reason we were in there is because there's a Starbucks there, uh, so we went to the Starbucks. So, are they any such things like trespassing and something like that? Uh, not here, because the whole thing is technically open. It's just that there's no stores. Open. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's it's out of order, but I took another picture of that. I thought it was funny. I don't know. You can go on to the next one unless you want to look at it. Cars. Yeah, this is the gas station. We're this is the other side of the gas station. It's like way smaller on that side. Mm-hmm. And then there's a bridge over the highway, and then you go to the next picture, I think. Um, and this is the gas station. What'd you call that? Falafel house. Falafel house. Yeah. This is a bakery over here. It's really good. What? A, all right. Well, let's see. We got a Hyundai. Hyundai. Volkswagen. Volkswagen. I don't know what that is. Four Pinto. What do you think? <clears throat> no. Probably another old Hyundai. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Jordan River. <laughs> Looks like you're going to get snake bit there. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's like... Thick. Yeah, it's, it's thick, yeah. There's a church over there. It's cool. What we got here? Okay, this is the place where Jesus was baptized. Really? Yep. They mm. built a church on it, like... Like, they kept track of it after he got baptized. And then they built a church over the spot, uh, like, 500 years after, because people had been keeping track of it by that time. And there's been, like, these ruins here ever since then. They, like, kept building churches, but they kept getting, like, knocked over or whatever. Why would they build a church on top of that? To, like, uh, commemorate it or whatever. Hmm. But there there used to be a river that went, like, through that. Yeah, that's the important part. Mm. It used to be a river, but then rivers... But then, like, a few decades ago, the river actually moved, like, 100 feet over there. Or, like, maybe a little more than 100 feet, but... Rivers just do that. They kind of just do whatever they want. Yeah. So the river kind of moved. This is the river as well. This is what the river is now? Uh, Yeah. This side over here, this is actually Israel over here. (laughs) Uh, So what's the border? The water? Yeah, the border's the water. And if you try to cross, there's, like, one guy with a gun. (laughs) So... (laughs) That's all the border security they had, which is really funny. Could you see him? Yeah, yeah. He's sitting there watching. Should have took a picture of him. Uh, he probably wouldn't have liked it. Probably not. This You'll never church. see him This again. is a church there, yeah. So I think that's the Orthodox Church. This is another one of the coffee shops that was in that same mall. Is this in Fancy? Yeah, this one's really nice. This is a really nice coffee shop. It's called Q92. A lot of college students go there. This is the apartment building that I lived in. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, I lived in, I think, that one. I think I could... Uh... Lock the windows up any tighter. <laughs> Why are they so tight? Uh, RPGs. I think it's so people don't fall out because uh, <laughs> the windows just open all the way. What? So, like, do they slide open? Yeah, they slide. Yeah. I mean, not all the way. 
this is the street that I lived on. Uh, there's another picture of it too, but I like this picture because it's the palm tree on the street. <laughs> and this is the university over here. Yeah. And then this is the building I studied in. The building I studied in is not actually part of the university, but it's right next to it. So we we're on the top floor. Yeah. So we're like over there. And this is the street. There's a Kia. Two Kia. Kias. Kia. Mm-hmm. There's Adam. What is that little bitty yellow car right there? That's a taxi. It's not actually that little. It's just because the way I took the picture, <laughs> the way I took, the way I took the picture made it short. They're if teleporting. That was real. If that's real, we want one. <laughs> What's this? This is Mensef. This is the national food of Jordan. Pinto beans? No, no, those are peanuts. Oh. It's rice, chicken. Normally, it's it's supposed to be lamb, but everybody eats it with chicken because chicken's cheaper. Um, that chicken don't look right. It 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 no. it's it's fine. <laughs> it's pretty good. It, this one's homemade. It's Here's not like in a thing. restaurant. So the presentation's not going to be like. They, no, actually, no. That one was made in a restaurant. You know, one thing that's probably the most foreign thing to Americans ever. What that chicken is not fried for once. No, no. It's, Do they uh, fry stuff? Yeah, yeah. They have fried chicken okay. like everywhere. Do they? That looks like boiled chicken or something like that. I think it probably which is boiled. probably to taste even better. Oh yeah, it tastes really good. Is from overall. Is the food healthier? Yeah, it's way healthier. How? They don't use like, like if you look on anything there, you read the ingredient list and you can read everything. Like <laughs> in America, you just can't. Let's see. There's probably ingredients in this water. Let's see. Yeah, there's, there is four ingredients in my water. <laughs> that don't even make sense. <laughs> How are you getting four from that? That's three. Ah, uh, well, three. they're on different lines, so I count it. <laughs> All right. America. I count the periods. But um But they don't they don't use like a lot of um they use like good oils and stuff too. Like they use like olive oil to cook everything instead of like uh Mother vegetable oil. oil and uh canola oil and stuff like that. Crayola. Um they don't use corn syrup. They use like actual sugar to sweeten everything or honey and stuff like that. Uh they don't have um uh well yeah, that's the main stuff. Like it's it's pretty, uh, it's, the food is just a lot healthier there. Like, I ate a lot, and I lost 20 pounds. <laughs> was it, how, did you eat three times a day? No, I didn't eat three times a day. Your breakfast was $1.50, which is really cheap. Mm-hmm. And is the cheaper food the least healthiest, like it is here? Because in America, no. if you want to eat healthy, you have to pay a lot for no, it. No, the, the cheap food is, it can be healthy food. Like, some, I mean, you can... It, it just depends. I don't know. So maybe yeah. sort of. But like you can get a, a cheap sandwich with just like meat, bread, and sauce. It's, it's good stuff. Is that a lot of food? Yeah, this is a, this is definitely like enough for four people easy. Oh, for really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it, you can't really tell in this picture, but it's actually like piled up pretty high. The bowl is kind of deep too. Um, yeah, this is mensif. So it's like, it's like chicken, rice, um, nuts. This one has parsley on it. Yeah. Um, and then they pour a sauce on it. Uh, it's like a fermented yogurt sauce. It sounds really weird, but it's really, really good. And you eat it with your hands. You get the meat. You like. I think this is the way you're supposed to do it. I heard this from somebody. I don't know if this is actually how you're supposed <laughs> to do it. But this is how I do it. You get like a little chunk of meat. Yeah. And you get some rice. And you, may, you have to make sure it's like wet with the sauce. Because what you do is you squish it up like in your hands, like into a ball, and it sticks together. The sauce makes it stick together, and then you just, like, eat it. It's really good. It's, like, it's so good. Here's a question for you. Did they have forks? They did have forks. Did they have sporks? Uh, Actually, I think I remember at the KFC, I think there were sporks, yeah. Do people use forks a lot? Uh, um, I think we should normalize <clears throat> not using forks. Uh, I think, well, not at the, re- I think there's certain restaurants where they use forks a lot, but like, like that, eating this, you don't, you don't use a fork to eat this. What do you use? You use your hands. That's crazy. Yeah. Or you use bread. Oh, we do just. Yeah. A lot of the stuff there though is like dry food, like falafel or bread or sandwiches. Like you can just pick it up with your hands. It's not really a problem. What's a falafel? Falafel is like, it's like, um. What is falafel? I think it's like, <laughs> I think it's like ground beans or something that they like fry. It's fried beans or something like huh. that. I don't know. It's really good. You like dip it in hummus and I don't know. 
This is this is a mine, or like is one that part your of car. Mine. <laughs> no, there's a basketball court down here. What? Oh yeah, sports. What do people do for fun? Soccer. Really? Yeah. They they have any camel races? Um, I don't think so. Because that's like huge. In, I, maybe uh, maybe I Dubai. I didn't see any. I didn't hear anything about Dubai. That. Uh, I don't know if it'd be easy to do a camel race here because the ground is not very flat. Mm. So it's like a hilly place. Oh, it's very hilly, yeah. What 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 did you and the locals do for fun? Well, we just like hung out and stuff in our room. <clears throat> they they um they uh like I said out out in the country, you know, they do um they go like hunting and four wheeling and stuff like that. So yeah. they play soccer in the in the in the cities. They do like stuff like that too. But um, they have like a lot of regular city stuff, like uh, cafes and and movie theaters and malls. And yeah, if I got dropped in a city, I probably wouldn't know what to do. There's mm-hmm. just nothing. I don't. I don't know. Go watch a movie, I guess. What about games? Like uh, video games? Yeah. Uh oh <laughs> yeah. Uh, there was this um. There was this. Under our school, in the same building, there's this place called the Gaming Center or something. You can go in there and, like, pay for an hour just to play on their, like, PlayStation. <laughs> did really you ever weird. do it? I didn't. My friends did. I do they have they games on their phone? On their phone, yeah. What kind of games? Was they, like, Arabic games? No. Same game. Same video games. They play, wow. like, FIFA and stuff. What about the Wi-Fi? Is it decent? Uh, It was okay. I mean... It's about like Barberville, Kentucky. We supposedly have the fastest Wi-Fi ever, but <laughs> yeah, this is a uh, another street in a mine. There's a Mercedes. That's a Mercedes. Yeah, yeah. This is Habiba, the place. This is um the the place I got that dessert, the cheese, yeah and stuff. This is the same restaurant, but just at a different location. This is the original one, actually. Hmm. Um, Are the people nice? <clears throat> Uh, they are, they're kind of nice. Yeah. They're very, they're very like hospitable. I would say they're not very like, um, they're very, you know, polite, I guess. But I will say though, I feel, I've always felt like the people there are, they're like good people. Like they're, they have good intentions. You know, they, they have good hearts. They just think foreigners are kind of weird because they don't see them a lot. So it's like, it's. The cultural barrier is kind of big, so they they kind of a little bit standoffish at first. But if you if you like put effort in to get to know them, they'll be really nice. Like I, um, there's a coffee shop owner that I that I went to buy coffee from every day. Yeah. And I went to him every day, and every day I was like, "Good morning." He was like, "Morning," <laughs> and in Arabic, you know. But Which is what? Uh, small hair. <laughs> so I'm kind of saying it fast. I don't, I don't really know if I can say it like exactly right. I. I, whatever. But um, he didn't. He didn't like start talking back to me until like two weeks before I was going to leave, and I was there for two months. So, so I don't know. But they 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 once you get to know them, they're really really nice. <laughs> did you ever get a haircut there? He was there for two no. Months. I didn't get a haircut there. I wanted I wanted to get Adam to cut my hair. When did I got back, did so. they <laughs> did they get did they have haircuts or did they just put a towel over it? Yeah, they have yeah they have haircuts. They they have barbers like everywhere. Really? Mm. Adam should move there. <laughs> no, too much too much uh, competition. Yeah. What's their famous haircuts? Marines one. Straight mm. straight marine haircut. Is it like everything? I don't know. They they actually they um. Getting your haircut is like. Kind of a, kind of a big deal. They like get like really fancy haircuts. I can't. I don't really know anything about. This is the coffee shop owner. His name is uh, Zubaydi. He's there every single day. Yep, and his nephew. Locally owned and operated. Is he from there or is he a, a white guy? No, he's from there. Yeah. Okay. I think your phone's ringing. Nah, it'll be alright. What we got here? Oh, big cat. Yeah, big cat. Hey, there's your dad, Kendall. I, I like the. I like this building. I thought it was cool. Why? I don't know. I guess the palm trees. I just like palm trees. I Look guess. at all them satellites up there, man. It looks like Bin Laden's compound. <laughs> this uh, this restaurant here is called Juana. Yeah. Um, 
it's like a, I think it's a chain. Um, they have like Arabic food there. They have like um, shawarma. Yeah. Do you know what shawarma is? It's like um, <laughs> they get like uh, a big spit kind of like a, you know, like a big, a big metal stick uh-huh. pole. And they um, just pile meat onto it until it makes like this big giant meat cylinder. And they cook it over a fire and they like will shave it off with like this saw thing or like a knife thing. And then they'll put it onto a sandwich. It's really huh. good. I didn't like theirs, but uh, all my friends went there a lot. What kind of other, what was the most American chain there? McDonald's. Besides like bes- KFC. Yeah. Then what? Pizza Hut. Popeye's. Um, they had a, they had, I think they had church's chicken there, which I, we don't have that here, but it, they called it Texas chicken because you can't call it church's chicken. Wow. Because, uh, they're Muslims. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's actually why it's like that. But. Was they super popular compared to everything else or just about, it's like about the same. So they, they like American food, but it's like, it's like how, uh, you know, like Mexican food is here. I yeah. Guess. This is uh, the view from the school of uh, Amman. That looks like that place in GTA. What? That looks like a part of the map in GTA. That's a pretty... I, I, that that appears similar to what California is, ain't it? It does. Yeah, th- th- Amman is actually like... Um, I felt like it was very similar to Los Angeles yeah. like in a lot of ways. That's weird. The, the weather was like really... Uh, that's like cool too. this is the mall there the mall is really nice oh, or this mall there's a lot of malls there but this huh. one's called Abdali Mall yeah it's like um, it's pretty new um, it had a lot of really nice stores in there um, there's this coffee shop down here that I went to a couple times it's really it's really nice they have like uh, coffee coffee they also had a like a bookstore in the coffee shop which was cool nice uh, yeah, I like this mall. It was really nice. One thing I, I really liked about their their malls is that they're like really quiet. Like people, really? are, there's a lot of people hanging out there, but they don't really like scream and yell and stuff like like they do here. Yeah, that's what sets us apart from everyone else. Everybody is just like more normal there. Really? Like, yeah. Less weird. Yeah. You get a lot more normal people there, which is nice. I don't know. I think is that all the pictures I had? That is indeed all the pictures you have. Yeah. You have any final questions? No, I think that the that you should go home or when you do and make some more of that lemonade stuff. Cause that was <laughs> It's good, isn't it? It was really good. Yeah. It's interesting. It yeah. <laughs> It's better even it's better when it's like really cold. Did Almost they drink a lot to of the freezing point? What was the most popular um drink there? Would it Mountain be water? Dew. Uh, most popular drink is like uh, please say Mountain Dew. Uh, no, <laughs> sorry. It's like uh, coffee and tea. They drink a lot of coffee oh. and tea. They drink um, Turkish coffee, which um, I don't. I bought some Turkish coffee and I brought it back, and uh, I can't exactly make it because I think you have to have like a special pot to do it. Hmm. But if I ever get one of those, I will make you some Turkish coffee, and you will probably not like it. I've not in had. Is it really American strong? coffee? It is really strong. And it's also really thick. It's like um, like Boost. It's thicker than Boost. <laughs> yeah, way thicker than Boost. And at the bottom, they have all the coffee grounds, and like it's piled up like this high, <laughs> and uh, it's like sand. <laughs> it's the bottom part is gross, but I really like Turkish coffee because it's like it's like regular coffee, but it doesn't get you like jittery. <laughs> yeah. It gives you energy, but you don't need like, like that's how I that's how I am when I drink coffee because so, I I don't drink I, I don't drink coffee that often. What about like a bang? I never had bang. Oh, you should. I don't drink bang. a lot of energy drinks. They had a they had like Red Bull and Monster. Okay. Uh, so they they like energy drinks. Overall, what's your favorite part of it? Whole place, whole trip. Um, Two months is a long time. That's like half a year. <laughs> Two months is a long time. You know what I really liked about it was um I liked um I liked the challenge of it. I thought it was really cool. Just being uh 
Ooh. in a place that was uh, so different and learning to adjust and kind of get once you get in the groove and get comfortable it's like hey i can i can adapt you know it's, was there any times that you didn't win the challenge and um, you failed at adapting <laughs> i i maybe shouldn't say this but like you so their plumbing system is not very good like you can't you have to use a bidet there instead of toilet paper mm-hmm um, and I didn't use a bidet one time when I was there. <laughs> so what'd you do? <laughs> I used toilet paper. It's, you're not supposed to. That's like really bad. But, Why? Because you can like destroy the plumbing. <laughs> <laughs> but none of my friends use the bidet either. So <laughs> did they sell toilet paper? Yeah, they sell toilet paper. Like you're you're supposed to like use it and throw it in the trash instead of flushing it. I I I don't know. It's, I couldn't I couldn't use the bidet. Just, who does that? It's just so. It's the bidet is so weird. Because they use like handheld bidets, you ha- hold it in your hand, and I don't want to get too graphic here, but you have to squirt everything off with the bidet. With it's a, it's a stream of water. Like it's like a water hose. It's like a spray thing. <laughs> it's just kind of like a little water gun. Exactly. Yeah, it's hooked up to the toilet. <laughs> it's awful. I don't. I don't want to do that. So it's not even like a full auto bidet. Like you have to. No, you have to press it. Yeah, it's like a little water gun. <laughs> It's awful. I, I'm not doing that. I guess eventually I will probably have to do that. Are you going back? I hope so. It Would you awesome. live there? That's plan. Not, not full time. Uh, really? Well, maybe. If I was working there, yeah, I guess. I'd, I really like it there a lot. Yeah, that's actually a good question. Abram done uh, Arabic. What do you, what's your like plans with that? Uh, I don't think any of your like, actual people here know what your plans are i don't i don't even know what i'm gonna do i i uh well, i just mostly study it for fun because uh <laughs> i i guess i should probably talk about like the program since i'm but yeah i study well i study arabic at ole miss yeah. at university of mississippi the shout out to university of mississippi i guess because uh I, I i feel like you know obligated to talk about this because i'm on here just to give them a shout out because I really do enjoy studying Arabic there a lot. It's it's a really good program. And honestly, like if anybody watching this is like from Mississippi, I think you should seriously consider it cuz it's just fun. It's like it's cool. So but uh I don't know what was I saying? What kind of jobs could you even get with that? I I don't know. You can work for like the government. You can work for businesses that work that, that like do stuff in the Middle East. McDonald's. Yeah, McDonald's. <laughs> you could. Be a McDonald's. You can be a translator. You can work um, for uh, uh, like the UN and NGOs and stuff, um, like uh, charities and stuff that work with like refugees and uh, things like that. Let me pull up one thing. What countries speak Arabic? Because I think there's quite a bit, right? Yeah, there's like 20 or 25, something like that. No, no. <laughs> it's A R A B I C. There we go. Arabic speaking companies. Companies? Perfect. Is that it? Yeah, pretty much. Although, uh, like Djibouti and Somalia, they don't really speak. Djibouti. Arabic. Yeah. That's my kind of guy. <laughs> and Djibouti. <laughs> They, these the, they don't really speak Arabic. They like to say what they about speak those? Arabic. What they about Iran? Iran doesn't speak Arabic. They speak uh, Persian. You know how I got out of Iraq? How? <laughs> oh. Iran. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is what they all speak Arabic. Um. Jordan's like so small on that list. Yeah. The country. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Israel doesn't even speak it. Israel actually does speak Arabic, but it's only like 20%. Oh. Uh, although I'd say they probably speak more Arabic than Somalia. I don't really know why. I, Somalia likes to call themselves Arabs, but they're really not. That's where all them pirates come from. <laughs> yeah. On the little bit like John Boat trying to rob a <laughs> naval carrier. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't. Yeah, Somalia, is a, so, that's something else. If you could learn any language, what would it be? Me? Yeah. Probably Russian. Probably me too. Or Russian German. I'd either do Russian or Chinese. I'd do I'd do probably Russian or German because the Germans sound like so angry. 
I'd like to learn Russian, but Russian is supposedly like really hard. Uh, probably not as hard as Arabic. Yet, I know that. But uh, like French, they say like French takes like uh, like a quarter of the amount of time that Arabic takes, or like Spanish also. Yeah. Like Arabic takes like four times longer to learn than those languages because it's so like different from English. How do you even read the rotten? Uh, it takes a long time. It t- it's really it's difficult, but. I mean, I can read it now, but yeah. We got anything else to say? Uh, I don't. Well, it was a fun one. I learned a bunch of things, honestly. What's what'd you learn? <laughs> the guy comes up to you over there that makes some like weird looking gasoline juice. <laughs> Take it because it's good. <laughs> they get you get like the um. They'll give you some weird drinks. When I was in the uh, the village, yeah, they, you know how I said uh, they pour like this fermented yogurt sauce in the mansa. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, my professor's dad, uh, not his dad, he was his stepdad, which is I think he's his stepdad. It may have been his uncle. I don't know, but he's just sitting there, just drinking it straight out of a cup, like warm fermented yogurt juice, and I was like, that's disgusting. And then he comes over to like where we were sitting. And he pours a cup and hands it to me. He's like, drink this. Did you drink it? Yeah. Was it good? No. It was awful. And then I sat it down. He poured me in another one. <laughs> and I had to drink that too. It was weird. But they also have like um, Bedouin coffee, mm-hmm. which is the Bedouins are like the, the nomad Arabs. They like, you know, they're, they're not really nomadic now, but they like live in houses. But yeah, they used to live in tents and ride around the desert in camels. That's like, that's what people think of as Arabs. It's like the Bedouins. Uh, and so th- their family's Bedouin and they have this like special way of making Bedouin coffee. Um, and it's like, it's good, I guess, but it's just very strange. Like I can't really even describe it. It's just, it's so different from regular coffee that, uh, it's like not even the same drink. I don't even know. It, they, they'll give you some weird stuff though. But, uh, you know, I don't really, I don't really have anything else to say, but unless you guys have any questions. But. My biggest one was about the terrorists, but there's not any, so. No, there's no, there's no terrorists in Jordan. One, one of the, like, Jordan, their, uh, their government is, I think, really stable. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, that's a lot, you'll look at a lot of these countries that have, like, terrorist problems. It's always in countries that are usually fairly poor um have like really crazy um presidents and uh like a lot of division but jordan is very it's very united and they they all have like the same language same religion same uh they have quite a bit of money and they they like their their government they haven't really had a lot of upheaval did you bring any money back from there I did. Do you want to see it? Oh, yeah. yeah. I really do. <laughs> Cock up right from there. Sorry. And did you, whenever you got your money, what did you do? Like, did you have to go get a big exchange or? Uh, yeah, you go to a currency exchange. So all right. Do they use cash over there? Yeah. Like hard, like uh, all the time or cards do anything? Yeah, you can use cards there. But this is like a dinar. Can you use your own card from like here over there? Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. You can? Yeah, you have to call your bank. but And let them know that you're on a trip? Yeah. But you just went with cash or what? Yeah, I brought cash. How much is this? Um, one dinar is about like, I think right now it's like uh, it's like $1.50. Um, and then this is a 10 dinar. Does it smell it smells weird? just like American money because it's paper. Yeah, it's the same, same stuff pretty much. So one dinar, basically one dollar. It's a dollar fifty. Okay. Yeah. So, so like some other Arabic guy had this in his pocket at one point. Probably time. a lot of them. Is that just yeah. for Jordan? Yeah. Oh. The guy on the front is styling, dude. Let me see that one. Is this all you brought back, or did you bring back more? I brought back some coins, but I couldn't find them. I was yeah. gonna bring them, but I couldn't find. Them. So this was your lifeline for two months. Yeah. 
These pieces of paper. Yeah. Yep. That's wild. That's how money works. Yeah, it is. <laughs> America's money's all on a piece of plastic now. Yes. Pretty much. You use cards a lot over there, too. But it's not really, it doesn't really matter. Well, I think we're going to end it right here. If you guys have questions, just comment them below, and uh, we'll probably do another podcast. Abram will definitely be on another one sometime, so if y'all ask questions, we'll probably answer them. Without further ado, I, I do yeah. want to say, yeah, say um, like, I, I got to plug uh, Ole Miss Arabic program. It's really cool. It's really fun. Uh, if you live in the South, or if you live anywhere in America, and you're interested in, um, you know, doing something like, if you're in like high school, and you're like interested in doing something really fun in college, that's like, you might get to travel some. Like we, we we're going on, Hmm. This was our first study abroad trip. We're going to study abroad next summer. And then there's a whole year of study abroad um, after where we're going to go to Morocco. So if you if you, if you you want to travel a lot in college and do a bunch of cool stuff and meet a lot of really interesting people, um, check out um, Ole Miss Arabic program. And he was supposed to travel last year, wasn't you? I was, but yeah. We were and it got to, canceled yeah. because of COVID-19. Right. Yeah, that, that sucked. That dang Rona, man. Mm -hmm. Yep. But we got to go this year, so that was cool. Boom. Where are you going next? Uh, hopefully, I'm going back to Jordan. Why don't next you go summer. somewhere dangerous like Syria? <laughs> my uh, stay in the Gaza Strip. My professor tried <laughs> tried to get us to go to Syria, but it didn't work. Why? Because <laughs> the program wasn't going to let us go to Syria. Because uh -oh. Syria's crazy. Would they let you go to the Gaza Strip? Heck no. No, that's probably even worse. I'd like to go. There. I would too. I do not. Why? Wow. Because that's probably that's one of the most like. That's one of the places. If you're American, that's probably one of the last places on earth you want to go. I would be. I would be the guy there waving a big American flag. <laughs> well, Ethan wouldn't last not long. For long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we will catch you guys. Uh, maybe next week. Probably. All right. Bye, I guess. Subscribe to the podcast channel if you like this. And listen, if you made it this far in the podcast, go leave us a comment and at the end of that comment say, I made it to the end of the podcast. Because mm -hmm. this is a long podcast. It's like 140. So, uh, really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Adios, amigos. Say bye in Arabian. Mm, ma salama. Oh. What do you that, say? I said that wrong. I don't know. Il, il, no one will know. I, I don't know.